We're at the Relics Event Center for Rubicon 2024. Give us a little bit of a history lesson on Rubicon and why we love it. Well, Rubicon actually started out as a Hot Wheels convention and then other people started showing up and so then it just blossomed into a wonderful eclectic convention. But there's still a lot of good Hot Wheels to find in here if you like your Hot Wheels, which I do. And who puts on this excellent toy show? Rubelmizer's Comics. Get a good one. Thank you. Ooh, it's heavy. Yeah. Bring your son to Death Star Day. Oh my goodness, that is cute on the inside too. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a turtle orgy going on over there. <laughs> Heroes in a full shell, am I right? <laughs> Hey, hey, Ghostbuster. Look. I ain't a, what? <laughs> afraid of no ghosts. Look, look at what I picked up. We I picked that up earlier. I, I hear you laughing about it. For no reason whatsoever. <laughs> it was picked up, we put it, and we're like, yeah, it's not the best and most awesome cover from oh, what looks like. Oh, look at like that. Give me 70s. a smile. Would Give me a smile. That's our thumbnail right there. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's another one of those where you just shove them in their back. Legs go inside the body. <laughs> Like a minute to realize that it's stuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did it scare you? I scared the crap out of me when I came out of the corner. I was like, oh, hi, doggy. Oh, not real doggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the question do, do, we, do we tell him? Do we show him? Does he even watch the videos? Does it matter? There you are. You don't even know, Sega Head. You don't even know. You don't know. Yeah. 
show me and show me your seahorse. Seahorse. <laughs> and the catfish. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> And his scrotum. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so what up with fish? So he's the nuttiest of all the nutters because he did things for pleasure. That yeah, like I'm pretty sure they said there was over a thousand sewing pins in his scrotum. Weird. <laughs> And Dr. Castor calls at work, he calls me John Wayne Lacey. Should I be concerned? I don't know. <laughs> no, don't put that in the video. <laughs> Collectible pyramid artifact. All right. All right. I like <laughs> oh, he's inside. It includes a storybook, three masks, and emerald glasses. So there's the emerald glasses. Oh my gosh, that's nightmare fuel. It's it's what? It's what? I'm sorry. Oh. Would this one be better? <laughs> These are like purge masks. Oh, oh no! What are you leaning towards? Definitely gonna get some oregano because I always cook with oregano. This is the problem with not having my toys put away until we get the new shelves. I can't remember if I got him or not. Hey, nerdlings! What's up, nerdlings? Hey, thanks for checking out that RubleCon floor tour footage. We wanted to show a couple of the pickups. Again, this is just to kind of encourage you guys to get out. Even if it's just like a swap meet type thing, check it out. You never know what you're going to find. First thing that I picked up were these adorable Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, but they're wearing each other's, I, w I don't want to say skins, but you That's know, what I said. Jumpsuits, costumes. I just thought it was cute. It's like, oh, look, they swoopy swoppy. They so, kind of feel like the, the Beanie Babies, but they're not Beanie Babies. They're from Disney. Because they're Disney's Beanie Baby. Disney was like, hey, let us in on some of that money. So I found this really amazing 3D printed dice tower. This was a really cute Hobbit house. I absolutely loved it. So pretty. If you didn't want it as a dice tower, it would just look like really pretty in like a fairy garden. I feel like all the dice towers you've collected over the years, you could just start a whole dice tower village. It's fun. If we had the room. It's fun. Let us know in the comments below who loves round doors and thinks that we should just use round doors in day-to-day -day life. Yes. We found some VHS there. Yes, now, we did. we're not huge VHS collectors. We More say nostalgia that, stuff. But yeah, we, we do have a pretty decent collection. Like, we really like to grab some horror movies. Uh, music videos are ones that yes. we always look out yeah. for. You found a movie, and it's it's sealed to some capacity. Yeah, 
U571. Now this movie, it was all right. It wasn't the most exciting movie. It's a war movie. If you like war movies, you might like this one. It is based on a true story of U571. It's a German uh, U-boat that sunk during World War II. But the reason I got this is because it's one of Bon Jovi's first major roles when he popped into acting for a very brief time. So I followed this movie basically because I'm obsessed with Bon Jovi. The greatest band of all time, and I will die on that hill. But that's why I had to get this one. Mm -hmm. That was that, that was a lot. It meant a lot. And as for me, I got one of my own nostalgic classics, Beach Babe 2, Cave Girl Island. This is one of those movies that used you to play. You should not be nostalgic for this. <laughs> on Skinamax all the time. Yeah, uh, it is. You're a little young. It is one of those movies, and uh, even beyond those scenes, it's it's a super super <laughs> cheesy film. This was one of those like basically made for cable movies. Seeing it actually had a VHS release. I was like, wow, really? Like this was in the back room that you couldn't go in. It had the curtain th on There it. we go. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that explains it. By the way, one of the girls is named Xena in this movie. So, la, 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 you know, la, if you're la, curious la, la. about where she got her start, that's not true at all. No, it's not. <laughs> we ran into the guys from uh, Route 66 and they saw our video and said, I'm sorry you didn't get a shirt here. So they brought us a shirt. So that, that was, was so awesome. So I'm sweet. so excited. I cannot wait to wear this. I love it. And I mean, they've got a fun, great logo on there. It's like. That was so sweet yeah, of them. So to put thank you, up you guys with a shirt. so much. And I cannot wait for you guys to show <laughs> next year. Oh my gosh. You guys put us in the poorhouse with your show. Yeah. But yeah, we Maybe we by can't next year we'll have you. all that paid off. <laughs> and the bag lady herself, self proclaimed, self proclaimed bag found lady, a bag. found me a bag. It is a Lego Millennium Falcon bag. So I guess you could hold your Millennium Falcony pieces, Lego bits or something in here. <laughs> oh, I, I don't thought know. you meant if they fell off the ship. <laughs> but I thought it was cute when you open it up, you've got a Lego Han and Chewie in here. And it's like they're on the inside of the Millennium Falcon. I thought that was, was great. Now, the funny thing behind this one, when we first popped in this into there, I noticed on a table this bag. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to see it when we get around to, the, to, to that bag. But a few tables before that, I saw this and he wanted a buck for it. So I was like, there's no way that that guy has it cheaper than a dollar. So I bought this one for a dollar. I'd buy that for a dollar. You did buy that for a dollar. The other guy had it for 10, so I got a way better deal. Would you buy it for a buck? Is that the phrase? Would you buy that for a buck? Who knows? I bought this for a buck. So I picked up a couple more earrings. I got some oregano because fun fact, I everything I cook has oregano in it. I got a uh, Lowry's seasoning, a Cool Whip. Cool Whip, you want some Cool Whip? I don't want any Cool Whip. Actually, there you go, there's a fun fact. I don't like whipped toppings. He doesn't, which is great for me because I get all the whipped topping. And then some um, spreadable garlic, because you know, I didn't know that made such a thing. So I got some fun earrings. Yeah, sorry, I don't wear earrings, so I was just kind of looking at my comic. The only <laughs> other thing that I picked up from Rubicon was a singular comic. It's called Year Zero. It's volume two, issue number three. I have no idea what this is. We got it for the cover. Yeah, I really like the cover, obviously. Poking fun at Walmart. There's also something kind of reminiscent of the ending of Army of Darkness. The way you've got the Skrull with the boomstick and deadites, zombies all around. The art inside looks really cool, very stylized, very uh, mature. So, you know, don't read it if you're afraid of zombies because these things look like they're gonna come right off the page. Or if you or have, a lion. what is this, a lion hat? So a lion head. that's what Luna Lovegood has been up to since the Harry Potter movie stopped. Fighting off zombies. <laughs> I picked me up some action figures, got me some new, some more wrestling figures. Yeah, she's hooked to now, guys. <laughs> no, I'm not really. I just really like The Rock and I, I actually preferred him to have pants on, but I couldn't find one with pants on. So I got a fun rock action figure and i actually do like her she's funny becky lynch we saw her on a show i think uh ridiculousness and i was like she's hilarious she's a little irish redhead so irish or scottish one of the two i can't remember but anyway thought she was fun you better get that heritage right or she'll come busting through the door and body bring slam it <laughs> i would like to see that sign uh sign sign a monograph for me and then i got me a fun carl urban from thor ragnarok with his two guns, Des and Troy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the fact that he names them. And then he did come with his axe, but um, 
Disembodied hand. Ah! <laughs> Someone was holding on to that axe a little too hard when he summoned it. <laughs> I have let's, a lot of Carl Urban in my life. Let's take a look at that mystery bag now. One of the things that we've been getting for years from Rubicon has been the mystery bag. So, what we're going to do is pull everything out of here and then we'll talk about it real quick. <laughs> There's some weird stuff in here. Woo! I am going to have to get this signed by Superman. Look, he's on the cover of Life magazine. You know what? I bet if I get in touch with Clark Kent, he could probably have me meet Superman. I bet he wrote that guy's always there. doing yeah. stories about him, so he probably knows him. So obviously just a nice little retrospective about Superman. And I really love that they're taking a deep dive look at Christopher Reeve. So question, Yes. who is the best Superman in your eyes? I mean, are we going? Henry Cavill. Oh, well, what about uh, from Lois oh, and Clark? Oh, yeah. Pretty he steamy. was pretty good. Ooh, yeah, but he still had underwear on the outside. Old Dean Kane. oh man. Henry Cavill, Henry Cavill's best I'll at tell everything you what. he does. Lois and Clark, they made me a fan of oh. Terry Hatcher. Yeah, you right love there. that. Naked Terry Hatcher with his cape. <laughs> I think my favorite scene, oh, see, there we go, Henry Cavill, see? Best. <laughs> I think my favorite scene, though, from Lois and Clark is when she finally realizes who he is, and it's the whole glasses thing, and she puts his glasses on, and Clark goes, where'd Lois go? Who are you? Why are you in here? <laughs> Wait a minute, where's Lois Lane? She was just standing here a second ago. You have a perfect piece for your next prank. Excuse me, do you have Luke Skywalker in a can? Well, you better let him out. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. What the hell? It's a watch. Oh my gosh. It was sealed too. Battery's dead. Oh no. But it's got Luke Skywalker and it says a new hope on it. So we've got an eyeball and then Luke Skywalker's face. And then a collectible tin with a stormtrooper and then Luke on one on the other side. That is very <laughs> odd. And then we have a retro vintage, actually, from 1993, 90th anniversary of Crayon 10 with crayons inside here. From the 90s? From the 90s. <laughs> we don't even see it Now we won't know where it's from. Does it smell like that? Oh, oh, oh. It smell smells like, like Chumba Wumba. Oh, man. That, oh my gosh, I just had a flashback of being in grade school. Crayons. And look at the back. What do you have? The crayon sharpener. <laughs> It's not even been opened. This is intense. This is really kind of cool, actually. It's like a little piece of history. <laughs> that wax and smells. It's still permeating. Oh, yeah. All right, so we've got some Angry Birds Star Wars, some old school Star Trek bookmark, Explore Strange New Worlds, and read. We have a Dorbs Civil War, a uh, very smiley um, Iron Man here, and it's a Marvel Collector's Core exclusive, which means I already have this. Oh. <laughs> But, I mean, if you weren't someone that signed up for the collector's That's core, true. This is pretty, pretty cool, cool to get. To have. And then we have a VHS, Elvis Kid Galahad, Galahad. <laughs> Commentative Collection. He's a boxer. So this is when he was boxing. All right, well, hey, there's another thing you can comment down below on. <laughs> Who would win in a fight, Kid Galahad or Rocky? Those were our Rubicon pickups. But wait! There's more! There's more! <laughs> I was going a little scream there. But wait, there's more. We had also hit on that same day when we did Rubicon, JomoCon. It's a long day. And the video's already gone out about that because we wanted to show off the floor yes. and everything. We did get just a few pickups from there. A little, uh, little black bag with a saucy number, no ah. doubt. I got this really cute, like, fidgety starfish that's kind of iridescent -y in color. I also got this skeleton Loch Ness monster. So that's pretty cool. Look at them teeth. Look at them teeth. And then I got my little Toby so I can take Toby with me everywhere I go now. That's pretty cute. I know. Some good stuff there. Also, I would like to point out a couple of things. One of the benefits of going to a convention, we learned about a new to us Renaissance Fair. Yes, we're going to so check that out hopefully. We're going to see if we can make it to that. And they had a nice printed map, which was very, very helpful. handy because they had it in a school. So if you don't go to that school, you don't know where anything is. And the convention guide was really well done. I like this. It has a list of the panels, mm -hmm. of the activities, workshops, everything is sectioned out like that. So if you're just interested in, say, the panels, it's all right there in one place. 
and then the artists and vendors. But what's really handy is they section them off by where they're at. Which so is they're very in nice. The cafeteria, you have a list of who's there. The second floor hallway, a list of who's there. I think your book's looking at me. My book is looking at you. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> <laughs> this was really neat. I I am obsessed with journals, but I don't journal. I think because I want you need to, to journal. Start writing I know. Down I need to these. start doing something. I wish I could draw because then all these things would be very handy. I just really liked his um his abows. You have the perfect thing to keep your pins in. Uh huh. I have this coffin shaped pouch. The vendor said that she was thinking eyeglasses could go in here, but you could do whatever you want with it. But it was Beetlejuice, and I really liked the cartoony design of it. Yeah, perfect timing for the new movie on the subject of art. We got some nice new mini print from Nathaniel Toyne's art. I was really drawn to this, and I liked it. And then I was sitting there remembering why I was drawn to it, because we have the like companion piece on the fridge already. And it's more of like a sideways look of the Dragon Lady. So that's why I wanted this one. This one was just cool looking. So we don't need a reason. This is cool. <laughs> hey, fair enough. Yeah, you see a cool piece of art, just get it. Like, for instance, this one. Uh, this girl with her pumpkin hat on, jack o' lantern hat, very Halloween y feel this to it. This is like it. a weird version of Little Miss Muffet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Little Miss Muffet and Spider Gwen are crossing over and get on that artists and writers. I'm going to see that comic by Monday with pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> okay, you can skip the pictures of Spider-Man. Got a new Flux game. I love collecting these. There's still a few, quite a few Fluxes I need out there. This is Around the World Flux, and I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I have not been there. I have not been there. So it looks like we need some to go some places. How come you don't take me anywhere? She's ashamed of me. Not ashamed of you. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little bag of goodies like here. Like a little mystery bag. It was like a mystery scoop. So let's see what's in the mystery scoop. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Whoa. 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 Oh my gosh. There's Good a Lord. ton of stuff in here. Goodness. You've got tiny mushrooms. You got all kinds of dice. Just jewels. We got a cute little dragon sticker. Little charms like a feather. You got some skulls. Ow! It hurt me with the rubber band. You've got pain. <laughs> There's a, a there was a rolled up bag inside there. I feel like this is the part in the Goonies where they're looking at uh, the jewels in Mouth's <laughs> marble bag, or no, uh, Mikey's marble bag. It was a big treasure chest full of stuff. And, and you it was like a girl. mystery scoop. Yeah, of, she just of scooped it up and she goes, Good luck, <laughs> and then ties it up and everything. I mean, there are some fun things in here. See, what you do is you get one of these and then you go buy one of those cool, like 3D printed or woodcraft chests. Yeah. <gasps> and then you've got a chest full of treasures. And then you lose stuff on the floor. <laughs> it was so cute, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was our full day some time ago. Two conventions in one day. That and was, our, that our was pickups, tiring. Uh, Still a good time though. We got to see some good familiar faces at both events and <laughs> brought all kinds of stuff here. And now we have to pick up everything that you dropped on the floor before the cat eats it. So guys, leave some comments down below on what you thought and let us know what you are up to and if you're crazy enough to hit up two conventions in one day. I'm gonna go watch an inappropriate VHS. Would you like to join me? No, I'm gonna go watch Elvis Box People. We are on like way different pages here. <laughs> Bye nerdlings. Bye nerdlings. I like it. It's cute. <laughs> this is a Lego... Not Death Star, stupid. Anyway. What's an aluminum falcon? I'm, I'm so glad it wasn't one of those snakes when you said prank. This is definitely an eclectic amount of... Ooh. Machu Picchu! Chicken pizza! Timbuktu. You thought, said at the show, and even said during the pickups that you picked up oregano? You picked up time. I must have set the oregano one down. That sucks, because there were oregano and there was time, so I almost bought both. <laughs>